Do you ever have that feeling that something is just too good to be true? That you're falling for a guy who isn't really worth your time and attention? Well, it turns out you're not the only one. We often find ourselves stuck in relationships, friendships, or business dealings with people who don't have our best interests at heart. Fortunately, there are some key warning signs that can help you identify these men early. Before you get stuck in yet another disappointing relationship. In this video, we reveal seven telltale signs of low value men so that you can recognize this type of man faster and save yourself from disappointment. Pay close attention to number five because we think this is a key trait that you'll find in almost all low value men. We love to hear from you. So please let us know which of the seven signs you think is the most significant in your experience by leaving a comment below. Before we begin, be sure to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for a free giveaway. Let's dive right in. Number one, they don't take initiative. Low value men often give off an air of passivity and lack of ambition because they are either unwilling or unable to take the initiative in their own lives. This passive attitude often manifests itself in dating as well. He may appear charming and appealing when you first meet him, but after you've been together for a while, his lack of effort soon becomes apparent. Low value men are also notorious for making excuses about why they aren't taking the initiative. They may say things like, I don't have time, it's too hard, or I don't know what to do. These excuses can be frustrating because they demonstrate a lack of motivation and an unwillingness to put in the effort needed for success. Number two, they don't have ambition. We all know that surrounding ourselves with positive people can be great for our mental health. But did you know? The same applies to our goals. When you're around people who share your ambitions and encourage you to reach for them, it can be incredibly inspiring. It can also help keep you on track if you have moments of doubt or difficulty staying focused. It pays to be around those who are cheering us on. On the other hand, being around someone without ambition can hurt your enthusiasm and drive. This person may not necessarily bring out the worst in you. They may simply lack the same motivation or passion that moves you forward. If this is the case, it might be time to distance yourself from their negative energy so that yours isn't depleted as well. To spot this type of man, pay attention to how much effort he puts into his own goals and whether he has any long-term plans for himself. If not, it might be time to reevaluate your relationship with him. Number three, they make excuses. Low value men are more likely to make excuses because they have adopted an attitude of resignation. They have accepted that their results will always be limited and they don't feel like they have any control over their lives. This means they don't take action or take responsibility for themselves since they don't believe it will ultimately matter. Because of this, making excuses becomes a way of avoiding accountability while also shifting the blame onto other people or circumstances. So how do you spot a low value man who always makes excuses? First, look out for excuses that are too convenient. Low value men often provide excuses that feel too convenient for the situation. Whether they use an excuse for why they can't commit or why they won't take any initiative. These excuses are usually too easy and too convenient to be real. If something feels off about his excuse, then it probably is. Second, pay attention to his actions over his words. Actions speak louder than words. A low value man will try to make excuses for why he does not follow through on what he said he would do. So if he says one thing but does another, chances are he is trying to get away with something or avoid responsibility for his actions. Pay attention to patterns of behavior over time and trust your gut if something doesn't feel right. Third, notice how he treats others. If you observe how he treats other people in his life, such as family members or friends, this can be a telltale sign of how he will treat you in the future. Does he respect them? Is he honest with them? 
Is he unreasonable when things don't go his way? If so, this could indicate how he might handle issues with you down the road. Number four, low value men lack confidence. High value men come in all shapes and sizes, but there is one trait they have in common, low confidence. Confidence is an attractive trait that can be seen from a mile away. For example, if you're at a bar and spot someone who looks confident, chances are he's high value. On the flip side, low value men lack the confidence that high value men possess. So how can you spot someone who lacks confidence? First, watch his conversation style. Low value men are typically loud and brag in conversations with others as they are always seeking attention and validation. On the other hand, high value men display more thoughtful speech patterns that show they have something valuable to offer the conversation beyond empty words or bluster. Pay attention to how a man talks. You might just find out what kind of person he really is. Second, body language matters. Another way to spot a low value man is by looking for certain cues in body language. Low value men tend to look away during conversations and avoid eye contact whenever possible. They also tend to slump their shoulders when standing or sitting and rarely take up space in any room they enter. These are all signs that they lack self-confidence and are unable or unwilling to stand out from the crowd. Third, low value men lack assertiveness. Low value men often lack assertiveness in both words and deeds. They may agree with everything you say instead of offering their own opinion, even when asked. And they may be hesitant or even afraid to take risks in life or pursue their dreams because they don't have enough self-belief to do so. All of these traits can be red flags indicating that someone is not worth investing your time into. So keep an eye out for these behaviors. Number five, low value men lack empathy. The most common sign of a low value man is their lack of empathy. They are unable to put themselves in someone else's shoes, which makes it difficult for them to understand other people's feelings or perspectives. This can lead to arguments and misunderstandings as they fail to see things from another person's point of view. Let's see how you can recognize a low value man who lacks empathy. First, they are self-centered. One of the biggest signs that you're dealing with a low value man is if he always puts himself first. Does he talk about his needs and wants way more than yours? Does he make decisions without considering how they might affect you or your relationship? If so, then he most likely doesn't value your feelings or opinions. In other words, he lacks empathy. Second, he has a hard time listening to you. Another sign that someone may lack empathy is if they have difficulty listening to what you have to say. Do they constantly interrupt you when you're talking? Do they try to change the subject when something makes them feel uncomfortable? These are all red flags that suggest this man may not be great at putting himself in your shoes and understanding where you're coming from. Third, he is quick to judge others. Low value men often don't think twice before judging others harshly. They may criticize people behind their backs without first trying to understand people's motivations or intentions. Number six, he never takes responsibility for his actions. One of the most obvious signs that a man is of low value is that he never takes responsibility for his actions. This type of man will often try to blame others or external circumstances for any mistakes he has made instead of owning up to them and taking steps to improve himself. This behavior can manifest in various ways, such as always blaming others for his problems or pointing fingers at those around him as the source of any conflict. A low value man might also use excuses like, it wasn't my fault, or there was nothing I could do when faced with difficult situations. Also, a low value man will rarely take ownership of his mistakes and shortcomings. This can lead him into a cycle of repeating the same mistakes again and again. He may also avoid taking ownership of his successes, preventing him from setting ambitious goals and striving for greatness. 
This type of man may feel entitled to certain things without having put in the necessary effort or work required to achieve them. Number 7. He doesn't communicate openly or honestly. One surefire sign of a low-value man is if he doesn't respond to your questions directly and quickly. A man who values you will take the time to answer your questions honestly and openly. Another indication is if he frequently changes the subject when you ask him something that makes him feel uncomfortable. If you find yourself getting frustrated because he always seems to dodge your questions by shifting the focus onto something else, then it might be time to reassess if this person is really worth your time and energy. There you have it, seven warning signs of a low value man. Did you find this video helpful? If so, please share it with your family and friends. You could help someone understand how they can spot a low value man and avoid disappointing relationships. I'm sure they would be super grateful to you in return. Now that you can see the seven warning signs of a low value man, which one speaks to you the most? Do you have any words of wisdom to help someone develop and increase their self-confidence? Please share your thoughts with our community by leaving a comment below. Before you go, be sure to like and subscribe. And remember to grab your free gift by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and have a day filled with empathy.